you know, some type of way, fight it until come back when you're, you know. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I had my guests on the show and they were telling me some good insights. And there's one of them who had a really good hack on how to identify how you feel and express yourself and get to be understood. Literally, the goal is to communicate and be understood so that you can get help, okay? And uh, next to me is Augustine Agwanda. He's a masculine advocate. He's back again alongside the able Mr. Don Otieno. Karibuni sana once again. Asante. Thank you. Yeah, last week, I think you, you, had told about, you had told us about how you, are, you interact with your family and how, you know, you can get to, at the end of the day, when you're coming back home and you've gone through maybe a rough day, you, some, <laughs> off the air I was telling you there's this feeling called, I don't know how I'm feeling. You know, but uh, you are telling me you must know how you're feeling and identify it so that you can be understood. And I think that's really powerful and profound because uh, most of us, we are just stuck in places where we don't know. And then you add in the, the, the manhood part. You know, you're a man. Why should you always say, you know, how you feel, yeah? Mm. It really puts you out there. But you guys said if you know who you are, you'll definitely know what to do, right? Right. Maybe you can pick up from there, Mr. Dunn. Yeah, like, like I was saying, um, I, th I think even if before you get to a space where you're opening up and, and being vulnerable to your family, if you find that weird, I think the first step is probably let's, let's, let's kick off with the accountability part, the brothers that you have, these guys who you know I can pour out to. When you're in that state of having not sure what, what you're feeling, I think these are the guys to dissect this thing with, you know. Get to that space where you can sit down and, and just tell them, this is what I'm feeling, okay, this is how, it's, it's this weird thing or whatever it is. Help them, let them help you dissect it. But once you identify what it is, I think even you as a man, you walk more confidently knowing that my issue is I am sick. Yeah. Rather than... Yeah. Uh, you're you're just, just going wounding know. everyone <laughs> or, yeah. or not talking to everyone or not yeah. saying anything. Mm. Why, why do you want to spread the disease? Whereas yeah. you can identify it and start curing it. Right. Yeah. Maybe, maybe let me come to you, Augustine. How can a man identify the issue? Because he's really said a very important part. Instead of you going on with your toxicity, your bad day, your bad mood, you want everyone to feel bad. <laughs> I think there's that meme that says, go feel bad there, uh, direct translation. Instead of you spreading that toxicity, how, why can't you identify it and sit down and maybe tell a friend, you know what, I just feel sad. Or maybe I, I, f I feel like I'm going through depression and I don't even know if it's depression or not. How can I be helped now? Because when you interact with men, uh -huh. what we said last time is they want a safe space. Right. And they, are go they will want to identify someone they'll want to, to speak to. Yeah. If you don't give them a reason to, to open up to you, because do you remember, vulnerability is trust. Right. Do I trust you? Mm -hmm. once, once I know I trust you, because what the men are looking for, is, my, is, it, a, is it a safe space where I can land? When it's yeah. not a safe space, I cannot mm -hmm. be able to, to open up. Yeah. And you, you will find uh, there's a person who asked uh, on, on the other show, because mm. what we were saying that, when we were saying vulnerability, what we were saying is, it's not, we are not telling the men, mm. and and oh, you, you <laughs> get. Uh, what we are saying is, you can be able to balance vulnerability, because uh -huh. you can, vulnerability goes uh, in hand with, with strength. Yes. For example, a woman will, will want you to, to be able to protect her. At mm -hmm. the same time, yes. he'll want to connect to you through your vulnerability. Mm -hmm. So he, these two things go together. So yeah. we, we want a man who can be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. We want a, a man who can protect this particular woman. Yes. So the woman needs your strength to protect mm -hmm. her, in, and he needs your vulnerability yeah. to be able to connect. Mm -hmm. So those two things, we're not, we not, we not telling you to, to start crying mm -hmm. all over. But yes, you're allowed to cry. Yes, you're allowed to, to cry. Specific yeah, to, spe to specific audiences. Yeah, to specific audiences. Or a person, audience. yeah. Yeah, because you're not okay. going to cry to, to anybody. Are. And yeah. you have to model that particular... Mm. Uh, th there's something I wanted to share that, yeah, please that, go that, ahead. Uh, uh -huh. that really helped me. Because mm -hmm. uh, the way uh, my, da my dad has passed, the, okay. the way uh, vulnerability was modeled to me. Okay. Allow me just to yeah, read. Please go ahead. Yeah. Um, there are four things that my father 
uh, modeled. Mm -hmm. One is vulnerability. Mm -hmm. I will paraphrase. Uh, uh, at times he came and said, guys, mm -hmm. I've been a, a bit distant because I'm having some challenges. Yeah. I will work on being present. That is number one. Mm -hmm. He was vulnerable. Mm -hmm. In terms of accountability, you will say now, I, I was having a rough day mm -hmm. and probably we bumped into each other. I apologize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you you Bum found me in a bad mood. Oh, bumped meaning there's a little bit of collision. There's a bit of, of collision. And you found me in a bad mood. Yeah. And yes. Another thing is, mm -hmm. he told us we can be able to cry. Okay. He's showing us a, a good, uh, when he's a king, he's still, he's, a, a king too can cry. Mm -hmm. So, yes, he's leading us, but he's also telling us to be in touch with our emotions. Right. If something bad, let us, let us come and cry together. Another thing is, is, mm. is available. Mm. My dad will ask me, how am I doing as a father? And how right. can I improve? Mm -hmm. Give me three words that can describe how you, you feel. How you feel. Is mm -hmm. there anything you are going through that yeah. I can help you to process? Right. So that th these things that that have been modeled, the mm -hmm. vulnerability, being able to be accountable and say, yeah. I am wrong, I apologize, I've not been there, mm. there, there, there's been a lot of work, I, I'm going to be present. Yeah. How, am, how, how am I being a good father to you? Am I improving? How can yeah. I be there for you? Yeah. How, how do you feel about this? Right. You approached a girl and you said no. How do you mm -hmm. feel about that? Yeah. So being, be able to get in touch with yes. your emotions. With yeah. emotions. And authentically expressing them and calling it as it is. But then yes. in our society today, Augustine, uh, I've seen, I think, Andrew Kibe, maybe, he said, you know, as a man, feelings and emotions aside, aka emotions, Zako Kandro, Kujia Kama Gangster, in, in, in such a platform where human beings, anyways, gender, male, female, everyone is dealing with whatever they're dealing with. But, you know, they don't expect you as a man to always, you know, you know, washe, washe. And as much as yes, you're authentically expressing yourself, but there's people who have this filter in their head. Ah, In fact, there was one of the ex spaces where I think he said, there's one of his friends who used to tell him how whatever he was going through all day, Adia come cut off. He said it, I was there in the ex space, yeah? So, hatakim to mwenye namambia mashida zake na taka, well, deal nazo privately, he'll come to kwe magangsta pamoja. Because that, was, that is what yeah. we were saying, that yeah. men are made men in the company of other men. Right. So, sometimes I don't know how to do something. I will say, Brian, I don't know how to do it. Uh -huh. I can't have everything at a go. Yeah. I can't know everything. Uh -huh. So when men are made in the company of other men, mm -hmm. what you are simply saying, you are not self-made. You need other men to be accountable to you. Right. The minute that True. you bottle up issues and yeah. you say, I cannot share, mm. unless that other person says you are bothering with them with your issues. That's why right. I was saying, whenever you find someone you can share with, that mm -hmm. means you have trust that person with, with, with what you are about to share mm -hmm. with them. Mm. Because you can't be self-made, you can't go through things alone. There is someone that you have to be able to share with. Yeah. As a man, you have to have accountability. Who are you yeah. accountable to? Who are yeah. you sharing with? This, this right. is what I'm feeling. I don't know how I'm feeling, mm. but this is what I'm... Can you help me go through this particular issue? Yeah. There has to be some, someone who has to help you. That's yeah. why I, I also told you, we balance. We are not mm. te we are not telling a man the out there to yeah. be wo 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 share. Wo share. Mm. Yeah. What we are telling him but balance cross between. Cross a person being yes. important. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, yes. it's an issue here. Yeah? To be balanced course, between having yeah. that vulnerability uh -huh. and also maintain your your your, your frame as a man. Your frame okay. as a man. Mm -hmm. I have strength and I have vulnerability. vulnerability yeah. This particular vulnerability is helping to connect. Mm -hmm. I can be able to connect with you. Mm. Yeah, because okay. there, there's someone who, who once said there's a difference between when I'm bonding with you, yeah. when I'm having intimacy with you. When I'm bonding, it is physical oneness. When okay. I'm having intimacy, it's something more. It involves emotions, it involves vulnerability. Okay. So our fr for our friendship to have that level of intimacy, yeah. you have to be vulnerable. What are you going through? What are your fears? Yeah. You get? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Dom, <coughs> there's, there's, uh, I was speaking to a, fr a friend as well, you know, once you become a father, hey, trust me, you, the only thing is to provide. But then, 
you're still a human being. You still go through the same pain the ladies go through. Mm -hmm. In fact, I believe maybe <laughs> in the name of Candice Owen, Candice Owen says, in fact, men are more disadvantaged, disadvantaged in today's world than women because of maybe they're not allowed to be vulnerable like uh, the mm -hmm. conversation we are having. So as a married man who you're going through things, uh, maybe they're watching right now, and they just don't know the formula of how to approach the issues they're having, maybe to express it to their wives, or maybe to tell their children, or maybe can therapy be an alternative as well, or aligning yourself with a religious leader, or maybe what is the formula that they can use to attack the issues that they're going through so that they get to express themselves to their family? All right. I think, I think uh, uh, first of all, is understanding. Um, many, many times we, we are hearing, you know, the, 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 the men who come out and hit strongly about men opening up, and uh, th that is a wrong thing. If we look back, I usually say, even as you sit under Brian for advice, first find out his story. Nice. Because Brian can come out and tell you, I have a good example, I had a boss who once told me, don't never get married. Marriage it will just mess you up. Don't yeah. ever get married. Then right. two weeks down the line, I see his baby mama comes and rushes into the office and is demanding the child support, you yeah. know, check, you know. Mm. And, and then it hit me like, ah. Yes, now I see That's why. where the pain is. That's why. Yeah. So your bad experience is not right. everyone's bad experience. I can't mm. advise you based on my bad experience. Right. Mm -hmm. If if a woman left me, I can't come and tell every man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. women are bad mm -hmm. or don't deal with women. <laughs> if my my I saw my dad uh, 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 being auctioned one time. He, he yeah. shielded us from everything, as in we knew dad is the provider. Yeah. You know, there was nothing we would lack, and dad would. Until one morning, we saw a truck come in there. And mm -hmm. this, this story is out there, so okay. uh, mm -hmm. be at ease. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, he, 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 he auctioned, now. being auctioned, and you know. Yeah. So now that, that brings me to the point where now this man who thinks provision mm -hmm. is what his role is in that family is wrong. Mm -hmm. Now the, the danger is every time I meet men, mm -hmm. men are able to take up a job in Dubai for four years. And he has four children, in Kenya. a wife. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have true real life story of a pilot friend of mine. Mm -hmm. He was flying all over the world, sending right. home a mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yes, and that man, if you would ask him anything, his answer would be, haven't I paid fees? Yep. I, are you guys living in a good house? Yes. Uh, do you have your cars? Do you have... Yes. A man is not defined just by provision. Yeah, but a lot of women argue that. They say, you know, as a man, come on, fuko haiko. Yes. You know? Yes. And it sets the pens now. As, as much as it does that, uh -huh. I blame ourselves also. Because uh -huh. now let me ask you, Brian, as you go out to date, uh -huh. what do you flex first? Okay. Maybe we can make it a rhetoric question for R me. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know? Because... Yeah. Uh -huh. we, we, we are experiencing men who are showing out the money effect yes. on everything, right mm. from the start of dating. Mm. So the girls that we're bringing up, that's what they're looking they for. They have the mentality that one of many in We are both feeding each other this yes. provision money and money thing. Uh -huh. uh, uh, little girls, I wouldn't want my daughter to look for Brian because he's driving a Mercedes-Benz. Character, mm. everything else is out the window. Yes. But I saw you in such a car, mm. or you look like you have money. Yeah. Because money, money can go, and when mm. it goes in year five, mm -hmm. what what are you left with? Yeah. You know, and mm. and that's why it's so easy for yes. our our sisters and our girls to right. to leave you. Mm. And they go to still another similar. Another process. yes, because mm. all we have. Flexing what we are giving muscle is provision. Yeah. Is provision. But yeah. what about the other roles? Yeah. What about the other roles of a man? You're a parent. Mm. Present. You know? Yes. Emotionally present. Physically present. You're there. Uh -huh. You know, 
you you take part in your children's life i have yes. a, a pastor friend who got married to a very senior mm -hmm. corporate lady mm -hmm. and he was worried at first <laughs> because how am i going to show up in, even in these corporate events mm -hmm. you know what was the fear though <laughs> no no so society has made you feel like ah, yeah, corporate ladies corporate ladies way up there can't deal you know i i, I told this friend of mine by the get out there even if you're a pastor pray for every pray before you you brush your teeth <laughs> call the family and say now we want to pray uh -huh. that gift and calling that you have and that's why we say a man has to have a purpose if you yeah. don't have a purpose it's very easy now to if you have a purpose and you are running after it yeah that that keeps you going mm -hmm. but if you're just doing life yeah it's very easy to yeah. you know I encourage him, hey, you, you now flex your purpose. Right. We are going on a mission. <laughs> and it's a journey. As a family. Yes. We are going to this and we are going, take your role and, and just amplify it. Yes. Don't feel now because, because if I ask you, Brian, uh, honestly today, mm -hmm. how many of us men, yeah. under the umbrella of provision, mm. do we have, how many of our wives earning three times more than us? Yeah. By the way, do your research. Very mm. many. Uh -huh. So if your, 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 your umbrella of safety is, is provision, mm. yeah. what happens in such a situation? Yeah. Because the ladies we have today, we, we talk of, hey, you have to be the protector, you have to be the provider, provider you know, all these things. Yes. Uh, do these ladies really need that right now? They are walking mm. with guns in, and mace in their handbags. Mm. Insurance, yeah. protecting. Uh, you know, yeah. they, 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 they have guns, they have mace, they have, as in protection is not there. She's earning three times. She has the money. She has the, the money. Cars, you know. Yes. <laughs> so and the house and, the house and, and everything. You know. yes. he, are you really going to run under the umbrella of protection, of uh, provision? Yes. Uh, uh, sometimes back, uh, one of the panelists here said that can be intimidating to a man who's not established in a yes. sense that you don't also have equally to what she has. Yes. You know, she has almost your dream car. In fact, she's driving a G-Wagon. It's a Correct. masculine machine, right? Yes. <laughs> well, well <laughs> if you calculate, the only thing you have maybe expensive is your mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you fit in this equation and th shoot your shot to somewhere? Hey. I could be a Mr. Right yeah. <laughs> that you've been looking for. But you just play, have your purpose. Uh -huh. Have your purpose and, and do what you, what you are created to do. Mm -hmm. You know, be there for, the, for your kids. Be there, you know, play your role. Uh, the other day we were talking to a, a, a couple and we were, we were bringing up this issue of uh, 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 submission. Yeah, and that it's word a big thing, by the way, looks very ugly <laughs> for most for of the ladies. Of the ladies now, <laughs> but I, I ask myself, let's yeah. go a step back. Yeah, well, what do you understand is submission? Because yeah, it looks very ugly for you. But just like my boss who told yeah. me never to get married, that mm. girl has a story. Yes, there's a story behind there that makes her feel this is not what I want I to want do in life. Ever. If you look mm. back, either how they saw mom treated or grandma treated. Yeah, or even under dad the name treated. Yeah. Yes, uh -huh. under the name of submission, submission. then mm. now you know it's trauma, that. and you know that's trauma. Yes, yeah. which yeah. is valid, but yeah. now understand, understand what what is really what does this mean? I watched a clip the other day, and yeah. a lady yeah. is the one who was saying, "I hated this word submission mm. until I realized when I submit to my husband, yeah. he started." asking me all the questions before he did anything he would come and ask me yes i ended up being on top like yeah he has to in <laughs> consult and then he does yeah, so it, yeah. what is the issue yeah so, so she <laughs> realized actually this is giving me a higher space a good benefit yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. before i come to you augustine still on you mr don the right. issue i think of absent fathers or present mother absent father or both of them they are there physically, but not emotionally present. I think it, com it contributes a lot to brokenness, especially to... Uh, I've, 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 I've heard stories of somebody hated the father because the father was abusive, or the, ma the father used to come home drunk, and there was no interaction, no relationship. See, they are, they are dead. They are there, but totally no relationship. And so they feel like they gravitate towards you know, women more because 
they were present. And then there's also the issue of single father and then single mother. Single father is not talked about a lot here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mostly single mothers here. Right. So how can we help uh, the young people and even the youth who have grown up in half homes where father was absent or mother was present, or maybe both of them were there, but very toxic. And that contributed to maybe some things that were affected in their life in terms of their personal development as a human being. How can we help such a person? Right. Or even maybe they now hate a certain gender because yes. just similarly to what you've said, the experience you had, you now hate men because the version of your father is right. the worst demonstration okay. you ever saw in your life here. Yeah. Well, I usually say the fact that you know uh -huh. does not give you an excuse to keep going mm -hmm. or keep dwelling under that umbrella. The fact that you know. It is, it's very different from someone who will come and say, I'm going through this. And then we help you now. Okay, let's go back to your background. And, but that, that one who comes and tells you, my dad hated me. My dad did this to me. Is someone who is aware. Yeah. The truth is, yes, it did happen. Yes. Uh, in, in my book I write, yes, uh, 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 your father hated you. Yes, your father... Uh, did not uh, provide school fees. Yes, your father beat your mother. Yes, he was never home. You're aware. Does it mean you have to live with his Scars. neglect and his abuse and his... Yeah. No, right. you mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. That was him and that was his failure. And that was what he did not do. Yeah. There's the story of this father who gives, who gives birth to two sons. Mm -hmm. eh? The father himself is a drunkard and... You know, he goes haywire. His life is just a mess. But mm. he gives birth to two sons. One looks at his father and says, this is what a father, a man is. And emulates and copies everything that his father did. Because that's what he knows a man is. The other son looks and says, this is what I never want to be when yeah. I grow up. Mm -hmm. And he turns and becomes totally opposite of his father. Mm -hmm. Same father, choices. Yeah. One decided this is what makes a man. The other one decided this is not what I want in my life. Mm -hmm. Same father, totally two different people. So yeah. yes, it did happen to you. Mm -hmm. You do not have to stay there. You do yeah. not have to live mm -hmm. under that umbrella. Mm -hmm. Seek counsel, seek guidance, Change your trajectory and run with it. Go to therapy. <laughs> Do it. It is not yes. a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Therapy is not a bad thing. Especially if, if I was going for therapy, mm -hmm. is it going to be a billboard on Waiyaki way? Yeah. No. I'm doing it for me and I know what it will help me with. Mm -hmm. I don't have to announce, but I will go because I want to be a better man yes. in the next yeah. 10 years you You're know developing yourself and solving an in an internal slash external issue yeah uh, augustine also when it comes to now uh <laughs> men bro i don't know if there's such a thing as a broken man i don't know you you'll correct me for a man who believes that anyway senor for me there's things that i missed uh, growing up and uh, I'm now, let's say you're now 35, they're heading to 36. And you're trying to piece up the pieces, uh, do the math, but it's not mathing, huh? So how do you tap into your healing and get to experience the energy you missed, maybe from your father or your mother, or maybe get to heal from those traumatic? Because I also realize trauma is like it, it stays in your child. It, it, you experience it in your childhood. You ignore it. But you start uh, arriving at 35, 36, 37, 40. And the toxic inner child starts manifesting. So how do you, uh, how do you arrive to such a place where you're able to balance and heal and finally disconnect and become a good man? One, you'll find that, that different than absent father. There's a father that is there, but you, you're not feeling that particular father. There's a father, there's a person out there, they have lost their, their father. What we encourage mostly is, in a scenario where somebody does not totally have a father, or they had a father, he was abusive, and his father passed away. Yeah. We encourage most, especially those single mothers, that one, get this particular boy or person a man to work with mm -hmm. and anchor somebody you see that there are things a mother can do to a certain extent mm -hmm. but this particular man needs 
someone yeah. to talk to, especially if it's, it's a man. So you'll find yeah. that as a mother, you find the boy is portraying some particular traits, but you yeah. cannot handle it as a... So but you have to refer him to an uncle, somebody. Mm -hmm. So because this particular boy must have a, a male figure, yeah, a male voice to right. help him go through this. Mm -hmm. What what are we? What are we? What is this that you are going through? What 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 happened? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what I've also noticed is we are telling the men to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. but are we in a position to handle their Mm -hmm. vulnerability that's a good question yeah because it's yeah. one thing to be vulnerable yes but can you go to the capacity to handle it to yeah. handle my vulnerability mm -hmm. what, what what are the things that make men not to be vulnerable how will yeah. you react mm. the, the, first, the first thing you will react yes if i told you the worst of the worst the worst <laughs> because for example we are dating everybody is uh -huh. putting their their best, best foot forward mm -hmm. you know very well you cannot be able to bear a child. Why, yeah. why are you misleading this particular lady? But you will not right. mention it here uh -huh. at this particular stage. Mm. Yeah. I, want to, I want to be vulnerable and say mm -hmm. we are dating, but I cannot be able to. We cannot be at this particular <laughs> stage. I, I don't want to be selfish. We get married is when you realize. But yeah. have you given me that particular space? That, was, mm. that is what Don was saying. Mm. It's a money because once you are emotionally immature, Mm -hmm. You cannot be able to be open. Yeah, maybe you, and, and maybe let's define st on that one. Let's yeah. define emotional immaturity. Because yeah. one, yeah, what I'm saying is, are you be, be able to be vulnerable and have difficult conversations? Mm -hmm. Difficult conversation means you have to be open and vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when when you are not you are when you are not emotionally intact, mm -hmm. you are not you are not you are not going to have difficult conversations. Mm -hmm. Because it's not going to be about what uh, my brother was saying. It's not going to be about money. Are mm -hmm. we going to go out there, have a date, mm -hmm. have a, a, a talk about our future, have mm -hmm. those difficult conversations? Mm -hmm. If that man is not emotionally intact, you will not mm -hmm. be open and say, because the, the lady will want to know where are we going? What is the yeah. vision? What is the plan? Do you have a purpose? Mm -hmm. It's not about, to, if you're not open about your finances, do you, do you have it? That's why I was saying, mm -hmm. are you able to be open and say, we are going to date, at this particular moment, mo I'm earning 10,000. This is what I particular have. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mo most men will not want to open up because how somebody will react mm -hmm. or how that, whatever they have revealed will be used against them. Yeah. Because they say, eh, it, at a later conversations, whatever mm -hmm. they say will be used against them. Yeah. Are you effectively listening? Because if we effectively, if we, we are effective in listening to men, uh -huh. sometimes I just want somebody who, li I don't even want you to give me the solution. Mm -hmm. They want somebody. So if you show signs of listening to them, mm -hmm. you encourage also sharing. Mm -hmm. how, can I, mm -hmm. how can I be able to help you process what you are going through? Yeah. That gives space for that man to open up. Are you giving him space? Yeah. Or are you denying that particular space? Because mm -hmm. once you front money as the first factor, yeah. once how you react, mm -hmm. once how you don't actively listening mm -hmm. and say, I'm going to listen to you. Right. Do you, are, are we listening? Mm -hmm. How are we reacting? Are we using whatever we have said to you against, you. against us to at, judge you. at a later conversation? Yeah. So no one. Yeah, you see? hold you hostage and yes. guilt trip you. Let's talk about <laughs> maybe also expressing uh, anger because I believe that's also another huge part for men. Uh, there's people who have extreme age, rage, I believe, like you are there. You can explode and do the worst, bang the table, and that's literally bad behavior. Huh? So as a man, how do you, <laughs> how do you <laughs> gas down <laughs> and finally breathe in and out? Especially I'm imagining now for like somebody like Don, yeah, who is a father. You're a strong figure to your, you know, to your uh, daughters. You don't wanna do, you don't wanna. <laughs> yeah, uh, sometimes. But now let's let's remove the married part. Just normal dude, averagely, not yet married, facing life. You know, how do you express rage and anger? One most of most of the time, men, some men tend to be silent. Some tend to walk away because. One, if I know how I will re react, because sometimes I'm, pro I'm, I'm provoked, I'll want to, 
even go physic physical with the other with the other person mm. i have an option to walk away walking away does not mean i'm i'm you're weak i'm weak i'm just ah. protecting myself from that particular right. yes i can be able to if i know that's why is how i know knowing knowing yourself i know if if provoked and pushed to the wall nah. personally i'll i'll walk away and have mm. that conversation when everything is a, a little bit because sometimes we are we are in a heated argument everybody's up yeah. and everybody we, we are arguing in that moment both of us are not listening to each other the best yeah. thing i will do is walk away and so, try to calm down mm -hmm. and have that conversation when all right. of us so you're running away am i you're protecting yourself from saying a toxic word or a slur or getting abuse because <laughs> most most men literally do that mm -hmm. an argument starts uh, somebody accuses them in that crowd and you see them fleeing and walking and the oh, door yeah. bangs boom yeah because uh -huh. one you have to identify what what are my what are my strengths what are my 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 weakness for me i i, I will say i'll want to walk, walk walk away if i know mm -hmm. it will lead to physical um yeah. physical fight or something like that or verbal retaliation or verbal yeah. because some 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 is, sometimes is, is there's that wordings that you also use that also is emotional to yeah. to the other person mm. i want to try to come down at, at that particular mm -hmm. situation and and walk away and wait for things to to come it does not mean i'm i'm, I'm sometimes we go we go silent mm -hmm. not because we don't have a, an opinion Mm. but because we want to i am protecting myself from that yeah from that situation of us going through because at the end of the day let, let's put it in don's context you are married there yeah this is the person you live with whether you i don't know how he will tell us how he reacts to that situation where yeah this person you're going to stay you see when i argue with you here here Mm -hmm. we're going to go different ways i don't know mm -hmm. how for him mm -hmm. that person is still there yeah you see i have an option i walk away mm -hmm. and go to my house you go to your house okay. but for him think the person is if he, still there. If he argues with the wife you he will meet sometimes you will meet half of at supper time <laughs> at supper time <laughs> no matter how good time you spend outside yeah. there yeah. or you need to come back for you yeah. something and uh -huh. you already I, d yes. I don't know for him you'll tell yeah. us how he goes but there's men in marriages who disappear right they argue yeah. with the wife on monday they disappear they'll come back the following yeah. <laughs> and that's why sometimes yeah. you find men who ah. they're not happy running home yeah. they feel it's a if you can find a job it's job is like Ooh, you know how we react to detention, yes, detention. <laughs> so yeah you will want to go to even a bar a friend's place because yeah. you see like a bar mm -hmm. that lady follows her W mm. what she says in the letter thought do, mm. do this mm. at least there's somebody who is in the bar who is yeah, following what she's saying instead of coming back here yeah, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so how we respond to issues yeah. some the, the, sometimes even the man stays in the car for some time just mm. to say breathe in get into the house mm. so how we respond sometimes we we go we, we go we go silent mm -hmm. and that's why i also I was saying we should yeah. be in a position where we are in a position to have difficult conversations and yeah so yeah okay. and be open about it okay yeah. but don't it really takes a lot of boldness it takes a lot of grit and growth to do what he's saying like boldly sitting there and saying you know what I feel so disappointed by your behavior and for I've been quiet for the last 2 3 weeks <laughs> but up and I up and yeah it really takes a lot of uh, courage yeah. and mental even consciousness as well and maturity yeah? mm. so uh I don't know in in the marriage setup for the people that keep on running away from their partners whenever something goes amiss uh maybe they're also protecting themselves from doing the worst because you can be there retaliating you know we've seen cases in the news headlines you know they argued over something very tiny i don't know why couples argue over a spoon <laughs> a cup <laughs> a towel being <laughs> in the sitting room instead of being at the bathroom like those small small things yeah. they become mountains right yeah. and you see the other one running away uh, I've, I've personally seen a friend they've not spoken to the together but they in the car to church they're good they're going to church but home no conversation mm. so what, ca what what approach can they use so that they start being vulnerable to each other 
and right. uh, end that toxicity. Right. There's one thing we do when, when, we, when we meet couples. We, we talk about your temperament and your personality. That's right. one thing you both have to understand. You have to know where does Brian, how, how does he operate, whether in conflict or not. You know, yeah. uh, is it conflict that matters the most? <laughs> no, no, no. Many times conflict is that that good brings times, oh, good times do not reveal bad people. Right, <laughs> right. It is <laughs> mostly. Conflict. And conflict, actually, yeah. I, I usually say in conflict is when it's good because now I know Brian. Yeah. Mm. You know, like he was saying before, in, in the early dating spaces, you're both showing the best. Yeah. There's no saying no. I want to watch yeah. a movie. Fine. Even yeah. if you're broke. You look mm. for that money and you, mm. you go watch the movie. Yeah. But it reaches a stage in, in marriage where you're like, ah, no, 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 no. That's, mm. that's what, eight socks, what now? No, the, mm. and there's no bread. You know, yeah. you actually say it. Now, what we usually say in conflict is, Brian mm -hmm. is not the problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, like, for example, I take this cup and put it there. Let's right. both face it. Mm -hmm. This is the issue. Right. Not Brian. Mm -hmm. Brian facilitated it, but this is the issue. Yeah. So let's focus on the issue. The issue is you always leave your socks on the floor. Yeah. But then the argument is, but you're my partner. You're supposed to, you know, return. Do me the favor, right? Right. <laughs> and, and I think there now, here is where, where now, we, when you're grown and you're a mature couple. Yes. You know, you know there are, like you were saying, tiny things like, I'm brought up by a mom, and, and, and remember I said last week the boy yeah. versus the man. The man, yeah. Many times our background informs how we are behaving now. Mm -hmm. Growing up, I, I had a mom who was super clean, super everything, even the curtain, the ninis were those lines. You can't just draw the curtain and, and yeah. leave mm -hmm. three frills versus <laughs> two. Mm -hmm. uh -uh, that used to. She, she wants her, yeah. the if you're she wants everything the, in order in order and, and things like neat those. and clean. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Now you grow up and and find a, you you put into a house with a wife who ah la 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 curtains would be open back at nine p.m. Yeah. And, and utensils stay in the kitchen. Yes. And uh -huh. here there was someone who was six thirty. Mm -hmm. Whether you have a help or no, they ah, the rule was six thirty. Draw the curtains. Mm. How do you put these two people together? So yeah. if you get to a space where you understand, okay, now mm -hmm. this thing eeks me. Right. So instead of jumping onto the other person, mm -hmm. <laughs> do it. Yeah. <laughs> do it and because it's making you yeah. irritable. It, it's <laughs> the one that is making you the other people are operating and it's even annoying you more because now you're wondering they are not yeah. seeing this thing. Mm -hmm. But if it's hurting me, I just do it. If it's something I can do, I just do it. It, it, it just keeps me in that space of, okay, it's yeah. done. Mm -hmm. But in terms of uh, uh, the conversations, they have to happen. Even if you are the person who walks away, please mm -hmm. note, I'm not saying you'll be walking away because that's throwing things under the carpet. Yes. And the problem with throwing things under the carpet is they always arise. They are there. They haven't been solved, so they are there. They explode on your face. Yes, it, it's a pseudo piece yeah. that is <laughs> temporary. Yeah. As soon as you get back closer, and now sometimes we blame the women for keeping uh, things in the archives. Yeah. Uh, but many times mm. we are facilitating. We are actually driving them to the archives, and they, they are only storing it. But we are helping them drive to the archives. Yeah. Because we did not solve. Mm -hmm. So many times, yes, take your space because of anger. You you went for the drive. You went to the gym. You went for whatever. But when you come back. We have to solve this thing. But now we are at a space we can communicate. Yeah. But solving is the issue. Don't, don't think you're at peace because now no one is talking about it. Yeah. It will come up again. Yeah. So, so for you, you believe the recipe to even uh, having a good marriage is people being honest and vulnerable to each other and solving issues. Uh, it, don't make uh, molehills. Yes. <laughs> make the mountains. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. That has to happen. That right. has to happen. Because every time my wife annoys me or I, I get annoyed by something she's doing, right. if I don't say it, she'll keep doing it. Yes. And I wonder why am I getting mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if I sit down and say, by the way, 
every time you do one, two, three, it yes. makes me feel one, mm. two, three. Yeah. Then now she's aware, if she continues doing it, she's a bully. But I can be a young bus. <laughs> you see, now that, that's where now uh, love and respect. You know, ama, we ni meze wembe, ama ni, yes, there's, there's memes in there as well. So yes, ni to go change your boozies, you to find your right now that you're not scared, you know. No, but Brian, if you reach a space where your wife is talking to you like that, uh -huh. that time she's talking like that is not uh, the problem. Uh -huh. the, this, there's serious history behind that. <laughs> uh -huh. There's serious history. Uh -huh. Yeah, because people, two people living together, and, and the the respect uh, when a woman can come and tell you, ah, you, and even Rudisha, you like that. Yeah. Ah, there's serious history. <laughs> Either you have displayed a certain way of Nini that has made her lose respect for you, yeah. or her, she has a problem. Mm. behind that makes yeah. her look at you the way she's looking at you yeah yeah so it's never just automatic that someone <laughs> yeah. a, a woman can it's start kind of telling you that's random responses yes so let's go back again and realize hi where yeah. is this coming from mm. Mm. and some that's sure. something i was saying so that's why i was saying let's go back to the background and help the man the boy to connect emotionally don't mm. let, let's not raise people who can fight physically and not fight emotionally because right. uh -huh. we are in a sp space where you see like we the men are, are, the, are the foundation so yeah. this girl is, re is automatically the the, the the ladies are wired emotionally mm. for you you are trying to be able to to know how to fight emotion yeah. so you two guys are together and mm -hmm. you don't know how to yes how to go about this mm. one knows how to handle her, her, her thing emotionally this yeah. one does not have does not know how to fight emotionally mm. because yeah. now these are two, two different people raised mm -hmm. differently but yes one yeah. knows mm -hmm. how to handle things emotionally this yes. one does not know how to so when we focus on bringing the boy mm -hmm. and also that's focusing on how can the boy the man relate with his or her emotions how do i fight with my emotions yeah. Because these people will not be at the same uh, when they get married or, or, or at any given point mm -hmm. when someone does not know how to, yeah. to fight with their, with mm -hmm. their emotions. They know, they, they, they know how to handle their physical pain, yeah. but they don't know how to handle the heart pain. So yeah. we must really be intentional right. on how we are helping the, the man yeah. know how to deal in, in this particular modern masculinity. Okay. How do we help okay. them? And yeah. Do we give them that room and mm -hmm. space? How do we treat them when they open up? Do we judge them? Yeah. Once, a, once in a time, you will see people break up. And mm -hmm. you, you have seen how people react when two people separate. Oh, yeah. Even he was not a good performer. <laughs> this one is a one minute person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, they start airing the dirty laundry. The, the dirty laundry. Yeah. And once you, ma, the man always has high regard for respect. Mm. Once the man sees you, dis you are di disrespecting him mm. and you see that there's something that you guys have been vulnerable with or mm. in that space of, of the bedroom mm. you are putting it out, out that, that it brushes the man. Yeah. So sometimes a man there is outside there is saying, I want to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. but do I have that space? Mm -hmm. Can it be used against me? Can it be used? Is somebody listening to what even listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. Is somebody engaging me? Mm. How are people reacting? So right. somebody, if you go outside there and you need help, you are crying in a, a lady is crying kwa mm -hmm. People will help her. Yeah. The same boy who is crying. The same same problem. Yeah. The same problem. Yeah. Somebody bwana amka eh? Mm. Amka bwana wewe <laughs> umerushiwa tia gas moja unalia <laughs> hapo. You get? Yeah. How we are going to handle these two people are totally uh, different totally yeah, different true. so mm -hmm. let's help the man how mm -hmm. to fight with the emotion right yeah uh we have around i think uh six minutes let me donate three and then to you too <laughs> as i finish up with you so are there maybe bad behaviors or bad characters that men display and it it can be really hard to pin them down and tell you bro apple behave opposite and then also i think he had uh, he had talked about how do you process uh criticism and being pointed out in, in the open, I'm poor. 
you will find not everybody you will expect them to there are people that's why I say if there is a man out there mm -hmm. who is not having a, an accountability she will be a worried man mm -hmm. there's somebody who should be able to call you out and yeah. you don't feel you don't feel should anything not feel this is to retaliate yeah. Yeah. you say but don't will tell me this way you you you, you apo mechoma apo mechoma mm -hmm. so there's somebody who wants to speak to your your life and yeah. say this one you yeah. go wrong uh, should it be a mentor a spiritual father yeah a you, mentor a spiritual the, the, you're working with them yeah even if you find someone you say uh don i found someone what what do you think yeah. i feel uh, you you have passed the friendship stage you have gone ahead of yours because some yeah. things they can be able to mm -hmm. they can be able to to see so mm -hmm. you need to have you see that there are people outside there who can criticize me for everything yes but the people who I'm, I'm relating with mm. on a one, the people who are seeing me on screen and yeah. criticizing me from the point of being me here on screen. Yes. If you are living with Ben, uh, uh, with John, and mm. we are interact, he knows my daily life. Yeah. You know, having that particular person who can be able to call you to out. Keep you in check, yeah. Keep you in check. Mm -hmm. What are you watching? Mm -hmm. What did you see? What did you think when you, show, when you saw that girl? What was mm. it, what what was what, what what was the picture created in your mind? In your mind, yeah. If you do, you, you, a man must have an somebody, accountability. accountability, somebody who speaks partner, to their life, yeah. call them out. Yes. And you're not going <coughs> to and you're not going to run away. You're going yeah. to still 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 be there and be friends. <laughs> be friends. <laughs> yeah. And that's why I was saying, mm -hmm. men are made. You, you need to have a man. This yeah. men are made with other men. Yeah. You can't oh, walk yeah. alone like live away. Not with women. <laughs> <laughs> like Liverpool, you get. <laughs> Let me but jump have, have, have that particular yeah. man that uh -huh. you work with. Yes. Call you out. Uh -huh. Even can be able to. Even John will be able to tell you mm -hmm. if, if there's someone is accountable. Uh -huh. If his wife cannot, uh, yes. able, he, that wife, his wife can be able to go to the accountability and say, yeah. I think uh, Don is going out of, yeah. out of hand. Yeah. But if you are not having an accountability partner mm -hmm. is a great risk yeah yes don on the same uh how can you corner a fellow man down umambe bra apo any bad example now maintain bad friendship as because people interpret criticism differently yeah i understand how you will process uh, even feedback so easy on social media if somebody says something depending on how i'm built to <laughs> to understand information and you know criticism you could feel sad, you could feel like you want to retaliate, but you know what, you hold yourself together. But now in, in the context of now family man, how can you, you know, be cornered and be held accountable? I think, I think it's for, for me myself to realize if I want this, if I'm, I'm in a space where I want to grow, I want to improve. If Austin was to come and tell me, Don, by the way, you did wrong here, uh, I would think about it. Yes, I might react now and say, hey, boss, what, what do you mean? Yeah. But when I go, and then that's something I tell my wife, uh, tell me, don't think it. Say it whether I, don't, whether I agree with you now or not. Yeah. But when I'm out cycling on my own, mm -hmm. I think I'll be like, why? Mm -hmm. She can say this. Right. And I, I, I'll process and register, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. So having that space, I think uh, randomly, mm -hmm. Um, I'm in a space where I tell guys, you know, I tell guys by the way, try this and tr not this. Yeah. Don't do this. And, and to your surprise, you'll find yes. there's a lot of men who do things not necessarily knowingly, right. but based on what they have seen. Mm -hmm. So they operate. Yeah. So whenever I sit down and tell someone, boss, you're doing this wrong, mm -hmm. some of them who are willing, they're actually genuinely surprised by the... Yes. That the thing you are telling them to do because they've never seen it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's something very, very different and rare for people. But do it. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's in it's your responsibility to to tell someone. Yes. So for the betterment. Right. Uh, the the other rule I have usually is have have a ten ten rule. Mm -hmm. Have ten uh, someone ten years older than you in life. Yeah. To tell you. Right. And always have 10 years down mm -hmm. someone you are pouring into. Yes. 
Absolutely. So don't thank you. We have to end it because it's 9.59. So tell people where they can seek your relationship because you're a relationship coach. Maybe if there's a number, website, social media, very fast on that five seconds. <laughs> All right. Uh, on, on social media, Don, Don Otieno mm -hmm. um, or Cynthia, Cynthia or Wamboy Otieno. Mm -hmm. And we do marriage and relationship coaching, okay. uh, uh, mentorship for one-on-one -on -one men, both mm -hmm. men and women. Right. So they can check out. Uh -huh. but uh, you? For me, uh, at, at Austin Agwanda on all social media uh, platforms, mm -hmm. uh, we do programs for boys, uh, uh, for men from above 21. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can find me at Austin Agwanda on all, all social media platforms. Yeah. So, so thank you both gentlemen. Powerful conversation. Thank you. Right. And that's what we say as well. Thank you for watching from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. We'll see you tomorrow. Brighton, Ali, I and Stephanie Ayeta at Brown Corner 1. See you tomorrow.